Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze lead driven cavity. It is a square cavity. Its top, top wall is moving at a velocity of 0 0.01 meter per second. And all these three side walls are stationary. We need to find out what is the effect of this lead moving on this fluid. First, we are going to create the geometry, change the analyst type to 2D, right click on this geometry and select new design modular geometry. We are going to create this in on XY plane, select the unit as meter. Now go to sketching and draw a square of 1 cross 1 meter. Go to dimensions, put the horizontal and vertical dimension and enter 1 meter each. Our dimension lines are sum of power, so we need to select the move dimensions to make it closer to this sketch so that it would be visible properly. Now it's okay. Now go to concept tab and select surface from sketches. Select this sketch and click on apply. Then click on generate. This is our required geometry. Now close this one and proceed for meshing. Open the meshing workbench. Select the Insert option, select these two sides, click on apply, enter the number of divisions as 50 and enter the bias factor. We are going to capture this top portion as the, the cavity is moving on the top wall. Now go to sizing, turn on the adaptive sizing option for a better meshing and increase the resolution up to 7. Right click on the mesh and click on generate mesh. Now we are going to apply the face meshing so that the mesh cell will be distributed equally properly and this is the structured mesh. Now we are going to put this various names to this, to this boundary surfaces. Select the top wall and name it as top moving wall. Click the bottom line and name it as bottom wall. Select the remaining two side walls and name it as stationary wall. Now all the name, name selection has been done. Now update this mesh and proceed for solver setup in Proven. Open the Fluent Solver Setup. Select the double precision model. Select the number of processor you want to implement for this calculation process, then click on Start. Now this is the Solver Setup window. Turn on this gravity option. Put the value in negative y direction, that is 9.81. Now go to models, select the laminar viscous model, click on OK.
we are going to add water as the working material for this go to fluid go to fluid database add water from this database click on copy then close select click change create then close now go to cell zone condition by default the cell zone condition material is air we need to change it to water select the material name from here that is water liquid click on apply then close now go to boundary conditions here we are going to put this top moving wall as the moving wall boundary all the remaining walls should be kept stationary now select this one as moving wall and enter the speed of and speed is 0.01 click on apply then close this is a translational motion and along the x direction so the x value is 1 over here this is our only boundary condition and keep this remaining boundary all these three walls as stationary, stationary wall now go to methods select the simplex method and keep all this pressure momentum and as second order of point now go to monitors select residuals and decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 for better accuracy put the residuals for the all these three equations now go to initialization do the hybrid initialization Hybrid initialization is complete. Now go to run calculation page. Enter the number of iteration as thousand. Then click on calculate. The calculation process should take some time. Calculation is complete. Now close this fluent server window and proceed for CFD post processing result to view the results of this solution process. Open the results window. Now insert a streamline. Select the type as surface streamline and the surface as symmetry 1 Then click on apply. This is our flow path due to the motion of this top wall, top lid. There is a circulatory motion inside this cavity. With the increasing number of points, we can visualize it properly. Now this is the animation. Click on this play button to see how this water is moving circulatory inside this cavity. Now turn on this streamline and insert a contour. Select the variable as velocity and the location as symmetry 1. This is the Then this appearance, appearance of this legend view. This is the pressure, pressure control. Go to location and insert a line. Select the point as x zero. 
y as 0.5 we are going to create this line at this middle of this cavity give the second point as x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0.5 number of samples as 100 and click on apply this is a line at this middle now we are going to create a chart to see the variation of velocity along this line now go to data series and select that line In the x axis, select this as x length and in the y axis, select it as velocity and click on apply. This is the velocity variation at this middle portion. Now we are going to see this velocity vectors at this cavity. Now go to insert and select a new velocity vector. Select the location as symmetry 1 and click on apply. These are the velocity vectors. Modify its symbol and size to uh, visualize it properly. Here you can see the moment of this fluid in this cavity due to this motion of this top wall. And with this, let's conclude this demonstration. If you have any doubt, then please comment below. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.